I want to remind you folks, the most storied conference in college athletics will live on a new network. Tradition has found a new home. The SEC Network launching August 2014. For more information, go to getsecnetwork.com. We're here at the Hearn Center, Tigers and Gamecocks. The SEC opener for both teams as Tigers look to improve to 16 and 0. South Carolina looking to win their fourth straight match as they are 8-4 on the season. Tigers lead one set to none. A little bit of a rough patch here in the second set, which led to the Wayne Crecklow timeout. We'll see if uh, it'll be an effective timeout for Mizzou. Christensen back to serve. She's gotten a little bit of a run here for South Carolina. Tight pass on the net, joust won by Molly. McNeil to the vein into the block and not able to be dug out by the Tigers. And so South Carolina keeps rolling. 10 to 7 our score. Christensen with her fifth serve, a little floater. Sarah will get that up to Molly. Back row for Henning, and she'll put it away. And the Tigers will win the streak. They trail by two. Yeah, I think if, if the Tigers can just pick up their passing, they'll be okay. The one before that was just tight once again, so Molly had to take it over immediately. But if we're able to set up our offense, we're so much more successful. Molly with the serve, Christensen digs it out. McNeil near side for Devane, and she had no shot to get that one in as she puts it right to the net. Tigers back within one. And the Golden Tigers in front of us showing another point Mizzou. Placards. So Molly goes after that line again. Joust the net. We'll be back on Missouri's side. Far set for Khan off the block. And I'll get down. Missouri knocks up a 10. Started with a great play by Lisa Henning. She put that ball up nice and high and gave Molly plenty of time to get under it and set whoever she wanted. Molly back for her third serve. Hit up front. Hit up by Sarah. Loxley will get it and free ball over for the Tigers. Good little set there. McNeil for Tavayan. And not able to dig it out that time is Meister. So South Carolina will retake the lead 11 to 10. Back to serve for the Gamecocks is McNeil. Con up to Molly, far side for Henning. Off the tip, and that will be a point for the Tigers. So we tie it back up at 11. Uh, way to hit high hands. Having a lot of success doing that tonight. Carly Kahn will be back to serve. Cheerleaders split ways a little bit there to give her some room. As a freshman tries to get the Tigers back on top. McNeil sets in the middle for Tavay and she just tips it over, dug out by Molly. And free ball over by Wilson. Tavay will give another free ball back over. Molly will set it. Near side for heading into the block, but it won't be enough for South Carolina. Mizzou retakes the lead. Yeah, no, that, was, that was good that Emily didn't freak out. You know, that ball was way outside. She had to do a weird free ball over, but she just stayed calm and kept it in, which is what you have to do. Tough angle on it as well. Con with the serve, but that goes into the net. And that will put us back at 12. So much like we saw first set, back and forth by the two teams. And about the same spot as when Mizzou really started taking over set number one. Yeah. So they can do it again. Tavea back to serve. Wilson up to Khan. Back to Wilson. She goes cross court and puts it away in front of Christensen. Great job there by the junior. Kill number five for Wilson. Fader back to serve. Christensen up front to McNeil. She'll bump set and back row. Into the block in Missouri there. All three blockers there to put that one away. Great timing on that one. They went up at the same time. It was like they were just one huge block. Who's going to be able to hit around that? 14-12 Tigers. Fader with her second serve. Christensen, get it to McNeil, and that'll be just rolled over. Khan will sit near side for Henning. She goes cross court, puts it away. 
The Tigers got the passing going, starting to roll yet again. Yeah, awesome job by Khan of stepping in, staying calm. She looked so confident. I got this, and she took the great set. Lisa's so good at hitting those out of system balls from the right side, hit that sharp angle and got the kill. Near set, but blocked by the Tigers again. Whitney and Lisa there for the block. Yeah, you can see by the way Whitney celebrated that one. She was excited about that block. She's getting her rhythm back tonight. You can feel the energy building back up here in the building. And it was enough for Scott Swanson to say he needs a timeout to talk things over. Four straight points for the Tigers yeah. as they've really taken over the set. Yeah, absolutely. And while we're on this high note, I know that my dad is at home listening to this radio station, and today is his birthday. So I just wanted to give him a little happy birthday shout out, Dad. Um, I wish I could celebrate with you. I miss you. Love you. <laughs> there you go. Happy birthday, Mr. O'Brien, <laughs> all the way from Columbia, Missouri. We hopefully the Tigers can get a win for him. Yes. It'll be a nice little start to SEC play. Absolutely. Speaking of SEC play, Tigers are next in action this Wednesday on the road at Arkansas. We'll have the radio call of that match here on uh, MizzouNetwork.com. Both Katie and I will be there to give you full action of that. Our next TV broadcast will be a week from tonight versus the Auburn Tigers at 6.30. Join us starting at 6.15 Central. It's SEC Volleyball on the Mizzou Network, your first access destination for all things Mizzou. So coming out of the timeout, Tigers again lead by four. They've gone on a five-point run here. Emily Fader doing a great job on the surge, but that Tiger passing really setting up the offense. Definitely. As we can see, if we can keep that passing going, we've got so many offensive weapons that there's no way that they can stop us. McNeil sets far side into the block again, and the Tigers continue their roll. Our block, when they get up and their timing is right, they're so they're tall to begin with, and then they just penetrate the net so well. There's no way hitters can hit around us when we're on with our blocking. Coming Great out job. Of timeout, five and a half team blocks for the team. They'll tip that back over. They've set up LaGrosse, but again, the Missouri block there. Couldn't quite tell if it cleared the net or not, but Nonetheless, Mizzou is there for the block. Yeah, a lot of times you'll see outside hitters when they're struggling, they'll try to tip the ball into the block and use it and push it out of bounds. But our block was just too strong. They weren't able to do it. Uh, ace there for Thader, and she is on a roll. Eight straight points for the Tigers. Thader back for her eighth serve. Wow. Yeah, eight in a row is awesome. She's able to keep her focus for that long. That's great. Can't tell she's a freshman right now, can no, you? No, absolutely not. McNeil sets far side. Tried to dig it out is Khan, but she's not able to. And South Carolina finally able to break the Tiger run. They trail by six. Crowd's showing some appreciation for that run. Here's a few <laughs> claps going. Sarah up front to Molly. Backside slide for Little. Dug out and hit back on over. Jousted the net, but able to overpass the net and just able to put it down is South Carolina as Anger Miller just tipped it straight yeah, down. Yeah, a little miscommunication going on on the Tigers side. Those Sometimes those balls that just ricochet back over, you, you think they should be easy, but it's like it almost throws the team off even more. That serve will go long, so another service error in this set. Tigers lead by six, heading back to serve. Christensen up front to McNeil. Anger Miller into the block. Whitney hits it on up to Wilson. She goes cross court. Christensen digs it out. McNeil near side for LaGrosse, but it'll be a point for the Tigers as they get her for a double hit. And yet another timeout for South Carolina. And Scott Swanson and son just look up at the board there. He doesn't know quite what to do as his team, we're at 12-12, and now it's 21-14. Well, yeah, I'm kind of at the same place as he is. It's almost as if I blinked and the score has changed by a ton. I mean, the Tigers just like they did in the first set. They keep it back and forth for a little bit, find their rhythm, and run away with it. Yeah, and something that you really didn't expect, like you said, almost a blink of an eye, and all of a sudden Tigers are up big. It's that big serve by Thader that kept them rolling. 
the most storied conference in college athletics will live on a new network. Tradition has found a new home. The SEC Network launching August 2014. For more information, go to GetSECNetwork.com. And I know that group will be around to see the SEC Network. Folly Zoo, they've been doing a great job tonight. And that's something that when that crowd, when Folly Zoo's going, it gets the whole crowd going. When we have a crowd like tonight, you really feed off that energy as a player. Oh, absolutely. It's so exciting. I mean, the zoo has such loyal fans, but the fact that we can get that many students to come out to a volleyball game is just awesome. And I always love to see what those guys have painted <laughs> on their chest. Lisa still serving. Tigers up seven. And down the line, but out. Good job on the net there by Wilson and Little avoiding the tool. Yeah, absolutely, and a great setup by them. I mean, it looked like the hitter was trying to avoid the block and go around it, but they had it set up so well that anything around it was out of bounds. Rolled on over by South Carolina. Molly sets for Little, and it will be off the tip. And another point for the Tigers, 23 to 14. Scoreboard showing 24 14. And that will be it. So Tigers take two sets to none early on. Win the first one 25 16. This one 25 14. And just complete domination in the second half of both sets.